Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting question from rational equations. It is x over 6 minus square root x plus 6 minus square root x whole square over square root x equal to 9. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing values of x which we cannot accept. x should be always greater than 0. It cannot be negative for real solutions as a square root x is there. Second point we can write x cannot be equal to 36 also because 36 will make our first denominator 0. So these two constraints we have to keep in our mind. Now I will use substitution. So let us consider 6 minus square root x equal to suppose square root y. See what will change here. Equation will change. Let me write here x over 6 minus root x is root y. So square root y plus 6 minus root x. So root y whole square divided by root x. And right hand side is 9. So I can write x over root y plus y over root x equal to 9 and from substitution equation I can write second equation if I will take minus root x to the right then I can write our second equation root x plus root y equal to 6. So here we have one system of equation where first equation is this one and let us call this is our second equation. Now we have to solve these two. So I will begin with the second equation. So I will be writing here root x plus root y equal to 6. Now let us consider cubing both sides. So once I will take cubing both sides, it will become root x plus root y whole cube equal to 6 cube. So a plus b whole cube formula is a cube. Let me write once. So it will be root x cube plus root y cube plus 3 times root x times root y and in bracket it would be root x plus root y and right hand side is 6 cube a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. Now root x plus root y is 6. So here we can write 6. So I can write root x cube. Can we write x root x? Similarly here also root y cube. Root y times root y times root y. So y root y. And this is 6. So it is 18 root x y. equal to 216. Now x root x plus y root y. This will come from equation number 1. So let me write here equation 1. It was x over root y plus y over root x equal to 9. Take LCM. So I will be writing here x root x plus y root y divided by root x y. So I will take to the RHS it will become root x times root y or root x y. Now I will substitute x root x plus y root y this value 9 root x y here. So I can write 9 root x y. I have used here one property of thirds. It is square root a times square root b. This will become square root a times b. So this will become 9 root xy plus 18 root xy equal to 216. So I will be writing 9 root xy plus 18 root xy equal to 216. 
सो ट्वेंटी सेवन रूट एक्स वाई इक्वल टू टू वन सिक्स सो आई विल डिवाइड बोथ साइड्स बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन सो टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन ओवर ट्वेंटी सेवन आई विल राइट टू वन सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन सो दिस वैल्यू इज एट सो रूट एक्स वाई इक्वल टू एट एक्स वाई इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर Now I will consider our equation number one again. It was, it was equation number two, I guess. I will write square root x plus square root y equal to six. Let us consider squaring both sides. So I will write whole square. This side also, a plus b whole square. A square. So root x square is x. b square root y square is y plus two times root x times root y. So I am writing square root x y equal to thirty six. Now we know the value of root x y. This value is eight. Straight away I will be writing two times eight, and this is x plus y equal to thirty six. so i can write from here x plus y value will be 36 minus 16 which is 20 so one equation is xy equal to 64 and second equation here we have x plus y equal to 20 now this system is easy one these two equations are known let's solve i will write xy equal to 20 no it is 64 x plus y is 20 so i will be writing 64 and x plus y equal to 20 now you can see sum of roots product of roots this is sum of roots product of roots i will frame one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y let's frame itself in x so x square minus sum of roots So twenty x plus product of roots sixty four equal to zero. Let's solve this equation for the value of x. I will use method of factorization. Factors of sixty four is sixteen times four. If I will add, then it will come out middle term. So I will be writing x square minus sixteen x minus four x, and product will be plus sixty four. Equal to zero. Take x common. So x minus sixteen. Take negative four common. X minus sixteen equal to zero. Overall, x minus sixteen is common. So x minus four will be left equal to zero. So x minus sixteen is zero, or x minus four will be zero. Product zero rule. i will write x is equal to 16 and here i can write x is equal to 4 so two solutions are there for our rational equation x is equal to 4 and 16 let us verify our solution whether it is true or not so i will write here check x equal to 4 first from lhs i will begin with so i will be writing here 4 over 6 minus root 4 plus 6 minus root 4 whole square over root 4 so i can write 4 over 6 minus 2 is 4 plus 6 minus 2 is 4 4 square is 16 root 4 is 2 so this is 1 plus 8 coming out 9 which is our rhs hence this is true and verified now let us consider the second one second solution it is 16 so i will write here lhs 16 over 
6 minus root 16 which is 4 plus 6 minus root 16 it is 4 whole square and we have to divide with root 16 it is 4. 16 over 2 plus 6 minus 4 is 2 square means 4 over 4. So I can write here 8 plus 1 equal to 9 equal to our RHS. That means x is equal to 16 is also true solution. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.